This is just a quick video today showing how I've converted my 10 speed Le Mans Revolution trainer to 11 speed. Now I've pulled my old 11 speed 105 cassette off my giant Propel which is an 1128. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just giving it a quick clean up, it only has about a thousand kilometres on it and a whole bunch of squirt lube that's protected it really well. You can see here that this is where we need to remove the material. Uh, it's the reverse of adding a 1.8mm shim to a 10 speed. We are going to be taking out 1.8mm. And just quickly, this is inspired by Shane Miller, aka GP Llama. He's done this successfully. Um, link in the description. Now you'll need access to some sort of lathe. Luckily I've got a workshop uh, that I can get the guys here to do a little bit of quick milling for me. Now, as you can see, we've got this spinning up, and that's my cassette tucked right in there. So we'll slowly work towards that magical number, which is 1.8 millimeter. So, as you can see here, we're slowly working away the material. Um, mind my finger in the corner every now and then. This was recorded on the phone. Doesn't that look really pretty when it's all done? Uh, he's done a fantastic job for me. Well, you might have to, um, Give it a quick clean up. You know, you have to the, uh... There we go. No, that's awesome. Be good Thank work. you very much. And now back home, just taking the old 10 speed Ultegra cassette off and putting on the base plate for the 11 speed 105 that's been machined out. I'm just speed it up here, some magic. And you get to the point where it's just about on, all ready to go. And then you realize you haven't taken the 1.8 mil shim off. Now remove that, show the camera and try again. Okay, putting it all back together and dropping the propel into the trainer. Don't mind the fake grass, this is in the bike room. It keeps everything clean, stops when I, stops damaging the wood floors. Taking my sweet time. It's really interesting to get to the quick release skewers on these Le Mans Revo trainers. Um, potentially should be having the skewer on the other side, for the lever on the other side for ease of use. And as you can see, just working your way through the gears, uh, it shifts absolutely flawlessly. This is a fantastic little hack and saves me a heap of money and all the way down the cassette shifts effortlessly. and all the way back up to the top. So now I'm ready for the winter. And get on Zwift over the next three months. Uh, I've had a couple of months off the bike, so I think I'll be doing the winter advanced 12 week training and we'll see how we get on with that. Thanks everyone for watching the video, um, have a look if you like any of my information, subscribe. Uh, big thanks again to Shane Miller aka GP Llama uh, for his inspiration and this has uh, come up an absolute treat. Alright, thanks guys.